Blessings, 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 people of God. I just jumped on here real quick just to release this word that the Lord put in my spirit. Um, for some of us, this is the season that God says, the season of the transition, the transition. What does that mean? This is the season where we cross over from our dry place to the promised land. In this season, God wants to cross us over. You know what? I'm here to encourage somebody real quick to hold on because it's it's almost over and we're almost there. We're so close, we're so close. I know sometimes if I could just be transparent for a moment, you know, God has me saying, you know, keep believing, keep believing. And it's like, you're looking at your current situation. It doesn't really add up. But something that God told me one time, he said, don't allow what you see make you forget what I said. He will still come through for you. He will still come through for us. This is a season of the transition. We're just tra tra transitioning from one place to the next. S to get from point A to point B, there needs to be a crossover. There needs to be a transition. And that's what God is getting ready to do in our lives in this season. For those of you who have been faithful to God, you stayed pressing, believing, hoping, trusting, expecting God to do what he said he was going to do. This is the season where we're getting ready to, to, to cross over and reap the harvest of the promised land. I don't know what your promised land is this morning. I don't know what your promised land is today, but God will come through for you. He is a faithful God. He's not a God who goes back on his word. His words will not return to him void. If he said he's going to do it, he's going to do it because he is not a man that he should lie. We got to believe people of God. Don't let the enemy have this round. Don't let the enemy snuff the promise out of you keep believing. I don't know what, what, what God has promised you or told you he was going to do concerning your life, but believe him when he says he's going to do it because he will do it, people of God. You need to hold on because this is the season of the transition. Everywhere I go for the past, I would say a month and a half to two months, all I've been seeing is 11, 11, 11. This is a season of the shift. Hmm. God is shifting us in this season. God is shifting us from our dry places to the promised land. So we need to hold on. This is not the season to draw back. This is not the season to shrink back. God is getting ready to give us access to that place which he has predestined for us. That place of the promised land. So hold on. Don't give up. Don't give in because God is going to come through for us. He is not a wicked God. He is a faithful God. He makes ways in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. He's a promise keeper. He is a promise keeper, and the promise is going to come, and it's going to come suddenly. So believe. Stay pressing. Stay hoping. Stay believing. The season of the crossover. The season of the transition, season of the promised land. Blessings to you all. Bye.